Okay, today is February the 28th, 2017, and right now at 10.15 p.m. we have a temperature of 41 degrees in the foothills of Los Angeles. We have a relative humidity of 80%. Uh, the uh, barometer is, is, is up. It's at 30.11, and that's because of all this high pressure that's been installed in this area, which is following that uh, right here we have an area that's trying to spin and uh, so we have high pressure all through this area and that is to force the jet stream to the south uh, right through the middle of Mexico. That's the jet stream flow right now for today. This is being sprayed over with chemtrails. We'll take a look at this in the Modus Today map. Uh, right now we've got a dew point of uh, 36 degrees and we had uh, cloudy breezy skies uh, most of the day. It was cool. A nice day, uh, but we are expecting much uh, warmer temperatures because of all this man-made high pressure that's been installed right here. And that will block all this weather. We've got a low pressure system spinning right up here. And we can see a blockade being engineered right here. And that will uh, prevent this from moving into uh, uh, Alaska, right, right up there. We have uh, a low pressure system right down here, just uh, west of the Hawaiian Islands, we see the uh, area right there trying to organize and spin counterclockwise. And there's actually, uh, we'll take a closer look at this. There's a, a rectangle right on top of that, uh, the center of that uh, vortex, which is trying to spin and uh, organize. So this is a, <clears throat> this is an area right here which could spool up into a hurricane if uh, there was no manipulation occurring. So we have um, high pressure all through this area. We have a blockade being engineered right, right through here. We can see that, and that is going to uh, prevent this uh, moisture flow right here out of the West Pacific from uh, getting involved in this uh, developing low pressure system. There's a lot of rain uh, showing up on the uh, Doppler map right here over the uh, Hawaiian Islands. Let's, let's uh, take a look at that right now. We can see the uh, next rad radars right here, which are chopping up that rain. We have a couple of very straight edges right here. Uh, these transmitters are located, uh, this looks like Howie, someplace near the uh, tip of the Big Island. Uh, I don't have the, uh, I can't see where this is originating, but it's right probably near Howie, up on this uh, north uh, eastern coastline of the uh, Big Island. Uh, also we have a transmitter located right here along the uh, southwestern edge of the uh, Big Island, which is uh, chopping up the rain pattern. And we can see that right there. Let's uh, put the pointer right on that point there and see where we, uh, what it tells us. It says, I can't even pronounce it, it's spelled N-A-A-L-E-H-U. Na'alehu? Na'alehu, maybe. Something like that. Not too good with the uh, Hawaiian. Uh, language and words, but anyhow, there is manipulation going on, and they're getting a lot of rain. We can see that, and that's good because uh, we've been hearing about the uh, drought over in Hawaii. Imagine, uh, imagine that a drought in Hawaii. Uh, it used to be that the island of Kauai used to be the rainiest place on Earth. I remember reading about uh, that island, which is the northernmost island. I think it's right up here. Uh, Four hundred and fifty-five inches of, of of rain per year. 455 inches for Kauai. I don't know what that uh, total is these days, but many years ago, that's what they would we hear about, uh, how much rain these islands would get. So that's pretty amazing. That's many, many feet of rain. All right, so we can see the uh, manipulation going on. Let's go back to the big map. Once again, we see that uh, developing uh, low pressure system right there. So they're going to have to beat this down and that's exactly what they're doing. Uh, let's take a look next at uh, the uh, Central Pacific map. This is a much larger map of the islands which are right here and we can see that developing low. There is, uh, if we stop the map and just walk through it, we can see uh, a rectangle right, uh, sort of right here, square feature. And as we click through it, There's not much rotation. You see that square, and uh, we're trying to uh, 
we see the rotation trying to organize there, but that's not happening. Let's look at this in the uh, the rainbow map. There's a lot of manipulation going on right in this area. Here's a close-up shot of the Hawaiian Islands. This is the water vapor map. We can see that rectangle right there forming. That's preventing the rotation and the organization of that system. Now we can see that better in this map. This is the uh, rainbow map, the infrared. You can see that uh, rectangle right here, all through here. That's a transmitter generating that. And this does not rotate much. This whole area is trying to spin, but this imprint is coming from a, trans, a, a, a transmitter, microwave most likely, and that is uh, forcing heat in the form of descending air into this area into this moisture field, and that is preventing rotation. We can see that right there as we click through the loops. This is a seven and one half hour loop. All right, let's take a look next at the uh, visible light map. This is that same area. Okay. Meantime, over here on the west coast, uh, there's not much rain occurring. Um, California has been dried out. Let's take a look at the uh, right here. You can see that that jet stream has been forced to the south and is running right through the middle of Mexico. All right, so there's no rain. It's uh, amazing. There's a lot of spraying going on. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Uh, let's take a look now at the uh, surface analysis map. We can see the high pressure that's been installed right here. That's going to block everything out all the way around. Nothing will get into uh, the West Coast for the time being. All right, uh, here is the uh, MODIS Today map. We're looking at uh, about the middle of the Baja Peninsula. I will scroll up a little bit. We can see um, United States is way up here, and we see some re residual uh, moisture right here over the LA area. As we scroll down into the jet stream area, we begin to see the uh, chemtrail haze right down here, this gray stuff, which is being sprayed over these uh, natural clouds as they move in on the jet stream. We see more and more of that as we pan around. And if we look at the bulk of the jet stream flow, which is right through this area here, we see a lot of chemtrail haze all through here, this gray stuff. It's a distinctly different color than the natural uh, brilliant white that we see right here peeking through the haze that's been blanketed over. Here we have some natural clouds right through here. And then we see this gray crap here. This is all the uh, stuff that the jets have sprayed over. Okay, let's take a look next at the pressure maps. We have the, uh, this is the jet stream map. We can see that flow right into uh, the middle of Mexico here. This is all being sprayed over with chemtrail aerosols. We have the 500 millibar map, and we see a lot of squiggly lines here, and that's because there's a transmitter that, that's the same transmitter that generated this uh, high pressure right off the coast of California and was uh, redirecting this jet stream. There was a big bow in the jet stream right here, and that's where that transmitter was focused yesterday. And that has followed this uh, jet stream along, and we see that the, uh, the squiggly lines represent the varying degrees of high and low pressure that that transmitter is uh, causing. And this is following that jet stream along and is forcing the whole pattern, the entire moisture field, to, to move much further south. Of course, we're not going to get any rain when and they move that moisture field away from us. Here's the uh, <clears throat> the 500 millibar map. 
and we see the same features. We have an upper level low out here, which is being blocked by this huge area of high pressure. Okay. All right, so that's the uh, report for today. Uh, mainly, we're just going to keep an eye on, on this uh, developing low pressure system right here next to uh, next to the Hawaiian Islands. They'll probably blow this thing apart here. Uh, and, and what I'm going to guess is that uh, these islands are going to get some wind as this moves over the islands. There's going to be a lot of wind and a lot of crazy weather. Okay, that's uh, that's it. We'll do another one later.